Activists with Black Lives Matter have put police on notice because they film them every chance they get. Police apparently are doing some of the same. A new analysis by The Intercept based on internal documents it obtained has found extensive surveillance of activists with Black Lives Matter in New York. According to my guest, George Malia Carl Joseph, quote, this appears to be the first documented proof of the frequent presence of undercover police at Black Lives Matter protests in the city of New York, though many activists have suspected their presence since mass protests erupted there last year over a grand jury's decision not to indict Daniel Pantaleo, a police officer involved in the death of Eric Garner. George Joseph is a reporter with The Intercept, focusing on education, labor, and police, and he now joins me from New York. Welcome to Uprising, George. Hey, thanks for having me. Well, first, how did you obtain the documents, and why did you even think to request them? Um, so actually, I didn't request them. Mm -hmm. I had done a story a few weeks ago in which I did a FOIA request, a Freedom of Information Act request um, from the federal government, and I got hundreds of documents from the Department of Homeland Security showing extensive surveillance of Black Lives Matter across the country. And so some activists, having read my report on that, um, reached out to me with some documents that they had done through a local records request in New York, a FOIL request. Um, and so they gave me the documents, and from there I went with it. So, uh, and I want to talk about what you found at the federal level a little bit later, but let's focus okay. on New York because this is the, the news story. What do the documents reveal? How systematic of a surveillance are uh, local agencies conducting on Black Lives Matter? Yeah, so frankly, I was surprised at how much the documents revealed. In the first um, cover letter page of the documents, the, both the MTA and the Metro North, the two transit systems that we got documents from, um, admitted that they had to redact a lot of names in the documents because those names would reveal the identities of undercover police officers. So we see almost 200 references to undercover police officers popping up very frequently throughout all the documents, um, attending the protests, providing intel on where protesters are going, specifically alluding to certain key prominent protesters. Um, and we're, we're not even sure if that's all they did because there's a lot that, you know, they may have not typed up necessarily and could have just been doing over walkie-talkies or whatever. But it's very clear that undercovers were attending these protests 